Joining us exclusively this morning from Los Angeles is Don Most, who played Ralph Mouth. Donnie, good morning. Good morning, Maggie. Seeing him, seeing Tom Bosley in those clips, it, it, it makes me so sad. I can't imagine how you must be feeling. I don't know if it was that comforting voice, that pleasant demeanor, but everybody in America felt like he was our dad, too. Absolutely. And that was the case for uh, the cast, uh, the four guys, you know, Ron, Henry Anson, and myself. Uh, especially for me, I think I had recently moved to California. I was 20 years old. My family was on the East Coast, so to a large degree, uh, the Happy Days gang became my West Coast family. And what better dad figure to have than Mr. C and Tom Bosley? Unbelievable. Did you ever turn to him, or did he ever volunteer fatherly advice? Absolutely. Um, you know, uh, as I was mentioning, the four of us, uh, when we first started the show, we were all single, single men. And then he saw us go through getting married and getting our first homes. And, and he loved to uh, sit down with us sometimes before the day's work and find out what was going on in our lives and offer us some sage advice. And, uh, it, you know, it really was that he, he really was our dad in, in, in so many ways. And, um, you know, like you mentioned, that, that inimitable voice of his uh, was so comforting and soothing. I think uh, most of America felt that way. When was the last time that, that you spoke with Tom? Well, actually, I'm, I feel really, I'm really happy that I got to spend some time with Tom not too long ago, about a, a little more than a month ago. I knew he um, had been diagnosed recently with lung cancer, and I went out, my wife and I went out to visit with him and his lovely wife, Patty, out in the Palm Springs area, and uh, we had a wonderful visit. We went to one of his favorite restaurants and, and just had a chance to really catch up and and just be with each other, and I'm really glad I, had, I got to spend that time with him, you know, as I said, just recently. Was it obvious that he wasn't doing well? You know, he was doing pretty well. He, he was undergoing the treatment, but he had a great attitude, and, and he, he was strong, he was fighting. I think he, he had a good overview of where he was at, but he was hopeful, and um, he, was do, he was doing great. It was great to see him that way. How do you think... Donnie, that Tom would like to be remembered? Uh, I think uh, he'd like to be remembered as a wonderful father and a terrific husband, a great friend, and, um, and an actor who, who really cared, cared about his work and cared about his fellow actors. So sad that, that our children, this generation, doesn't have happy days like, like we did, doesn't have Mr. C. What do you tell your kids about him? What do I tell my kids? Well, I, I, you know, there are times when uh, you know, I was at a loss of words of what to say to them in certain situations. And I think I would hearken back to some of the episodes where he would just say just the perfect thing to Richie. And <laughs> I would try to emulate that. I don't think I uh, was quite as successful as he was. but. But I tried. He was a great model to, to, uh, to emulate. Yeah. What would Mr. C do? Something that all, what would he, all us parents exactly. could what, ask ourselves, right? Absolutely. What would he say in this situation? Well, Donnie, I know it, it's a, very difficult for you to uh, be with us this morning and share your memories, so we thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Thank you for having me.